an exoskeleton to challenge arm wrestlers. Isn't that a regular show episode? <laughs> that, so that sounds like... A I don't know, I haven't seen regular show in a while. That sounds like a regular show episode, though. You're, you're right, you're right. Um... Let's watch... Big Ounce Goes to the Gym. Let's catch up on Urban Rescue Ranch. It's been a little bit. Wait, did we watch this one? Did we watch Big Ounce Goes to the Gym? We might have. Time to rob this store. I don't know. Okay, let's watch the newer ones then. Simply because I believe I have seen it. Happy birthday, Grimace! I need to break this up into smaller. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it's laying. Happy birthday, Grimace! Happy birthday from me, Chia. Happy birthday, Grimace! You need to break this up into Okay, then we probably saw so the other one. By attacking the fence. The other one's bully it and nip on its ear. We're a certified wildlife rehab. First girl. That woo -hoo, woo -hoo, is a yippee. friendly cappy. What do you think of that Grimace shake? You ruined Grimace's birthday. Good morning, oh, everybody. Oh, Uncle Ben. You're such a grub. I'll show you guys my morning routine. My morning routine changes up quite a bit nowadays. Especially now that we're a certified she wildlife rehab. She watched Uncle Ben off stream with Without us different now for starters listen listen we do this once a week if we miss an urban rescue ranch i'm gonna be watching it off stream from one unhinged man to another true we got a type on this on this channel chat and it's crazy I take a prairie dog every morning and I put it in the blender with my blueberries. And every morning I make my very own Grimace shake. Okay, once we put Big Ounce in there and he's in there, trust me, you can see. We just go ahead and stick him on the blender. And I like to grind Big Ounce for about 30 to 40 seconds. And this here is actually the perfect consistency, you guys. So we're going to give this to Big Ounce so he can try his very own Grimace shake. Happy birthday, Grimace. Saved a little bit in here even for me. Hey, it's me, you me Big too, Ounce. Man. This me looks too. delicious. Trying it. Oh, big ounce, no! Ounce, no. <laughs> big ounce, you ruined Grimace's birthday! Oh, He's just covered in it. I sure do love Grimace shakes. Oh my oh, god. No, Big Ounce! What? Big, big ounce, ounce was just blissed out. Hold on, look at that. Look at that face of him slurping. Love His Grimace eyes are shut. He's just like... <laughs> he is in heaven. Thanks. Oh no, Big Ounce! What? Big Ounce is immune to Grimace shake? Well, that's pretty nifty. I mean, I guess uh, we did survive several world wars. Little baby <laughs> man enjoying his little baby time. Grimace shake. Uncle Ben! Delicious! Your prairie dog was in that. For you, Jacob. Do you think you will escape the baby's judgment? After that, I come out here and I check out these little creatures. Patrick likes to sleep in the ounce topia nowadays, and he poops a little bit in here. This is where he sleeps now. Are there any Jacobs in chat? Thankfully, my name isn't Jacob, so I think I'm safe. Uh-oh, says Chat. Uh-oh. Now, you guys, isn't that precious? I think he likes how comfortable the wood is. But Gee, I know you're a hamster, but you have prairie dog energy. Yahoo! 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 There are so many prairie dogs in Canadia land. I see them all the time. Or I, I saw them all the time when I lived in another province. They're all over. They're so cute. Wake him up and he'll usually fall. Maybe they were groundhogs. What's the difference the between a groundhog and a prairie dog? Today. So when the rest of the bamboo comes in, this whole thing will be done. We've gotten started on this enclosure over here, but it's going to take some time to get that finished. The house is coming along. And all the fencing for the real big enclosure, which is going to be a flight pen for medium sized Groundhogs can dig underground. So can prairie dogs. Their nest is underground. She got the prairie dog in her. I got the prairie dog in me. Groundhogs are fat. <laughs> so they're like a bigger prairie dog or, or groundhogs live in the ground, prairie dogs live in trees. That's not true. Big Ounce doesn't live in a tree. He can't fucking climb a tree. He's too fat. Groundhogs are dark brown and fat. Hmm. I don't know if that narrows it down. Hold on, I gotta see a picture. 
We know, we know what Big Ants looks like. Ground hog versus prairie dog. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. I see the difference now. The ones that I've seen in Canada a lot are, are groundhogs. They are definitely thicker. They have darker fur. They look more like a beaver without a beaver tail, but tiny. Meanwhile, uh, Big Outs looks more like a, just like a, just like a weird rodent. Here, here's a comparison in case anyone was wondering. Web PD, I'm gonna freaking lose my mind. Web PD, I can't, I can't show that. I can't show that on stream. Uh, Jarvis, where's the option to turn off web PDs from ever showing up? Okay, this one's a JPEG. This one's from a pest website, so just just ignore the watermark. But there, on the right is a groundhog. On the left is a prairie dog or a gopher. Groundhogs are like bigger, darker fur. Thicker necks. No, that's a gopher. You're telling me a groundhog and a gopher are not the same thing? Okay, there's too many. There's too many land rats. There's too many land rats that live in the ground. They are named differently? Well, there's different names for things that are the same. Quite a bit. Those are big squirrels. Yeah, like, consider a squirrel for a moment. It's called a squirrel, but some people actually call them tree rats. Well, groundhogs and woodchucks are the same thing. But wh how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a wood woodchuck could chuck wood? Have we ever answered that? Like, pigeons and doves, they're actually the same. Yeah, pigeons are actually a species of dove called a rock dove. But we call them pigeons. Would you rather fight a horse-sized prairie dog or a horse-sized groundhog? <laughs> I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. Long. We'll be coming in on Monday. But take a look at this, you guys. I put a lock on here and my buddy put fencing along the whole bottom of this. So now there's no way that those little fellas can escape. What do you think, Patrick? It's also safe for all the animals to walk on without getting their toes caught up. Looks like Patrick's breaking it in right now. Oh, so while he's doing that, I suppose I'll put this stake here to keep it open. Good the only job, thing Patrick. I need to do now with the Dimsdale Dimmodone is put some fox hides in there and then a bunch of foliage and maybe some things they can climb on along the walls. This little family of foxes is doing very well. I like oh. to come over here and feed them through this top part. By feeding them through these holes, I minimize contact with them and I encourage them to forage on the ground. I started doing that because if I They're don't so do cute. that, they'll climb all over me and try to lick me. And if I film that, it would trigger every rehabber in the United States of America. But take a look at this one, you guys. This one's my favorite. It's the runt. The other ones bully it and nip on its Aww. ears and take away the food from it. So if I see that that one's not eating enough, I will go in there whenever I'm spot cleaning anyway. Yeah, Patrick baptized the enclosure. <laughs> This one's name to me is Pickle Rick. But as soon as I finish the Dimsdale Dimmodome today, I'm gonna go ahead and put all the foxes in there so they can run around and experience their new home. And that will be what's called, <laughs> shut up gamer. And this will be what's called their pre-release <laughs> enclosure. The Over rooster's there, the name gamer? Fun, stay away from people and other animals. And legally, before I even release them, they need to express the ability to be able to hunt a wide crazy. variety of wild That's food, coming from me. Quail, rats, maybe even some other little weird things like frogs. And that's why I call it the mega dome. Not sure how I, I want... feel about that one, guys. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice you didn't like this video yet. <laughs> Where does your, where's your grandma live? Check this out, you guys. I feed them two to three um, times. My grandma is dead. Both of them. So are my grandparents, actually. Thank you for asking. I can be your grandma? Aw, chat. Where are my cookies? Where's my inheritance? Okay, never mind, says chat. Yeah, I knew you weren't grandma material. 
times a day, steak, eggs, and fruit. Hey, it's me editing Ben. I try to be silent when I feed them so they know it's not me. There's still even a piece of steak or two on the ground for them to eat. And they're having all kinds of fun <laughs> and crazy running around. And because that steak magically fell from the sky, they don't think it came from me. <laughs> My fig tree from H-E-B is dying, but Magic it's still sky produced steak. fruit. Where does Uncle Ben get his funding from? I think he gets it from donations and the YouTube channels. I think. It's on his website, I, I believe. I'll visit you in the retirement home once a year, chat. Here you go, sweetie. Nothing weird in it. Weird that you would specify the cookie didn't have anything weird in it. Now I'm thinking there might be something weird in this cookie. Don't eat five subs to Chia and she will send that money to Uncle Ben. I will watch Uncle Ben's video uh, 50 times without ad block. <laughs> we should have a bunch of melons growing pretty soon. And yeah, we got wild Texas sunflowers that I didn't even plant. <laughs> After I do my morning chores and I feed all the animals, I'll usually just go and spend the entirety of my YouTube paycheck on enclosure things. Even though I run a nonprofit, there you I go, still Jack. don't ask for money for it, as we just don't need it yet. But at this rate, I'll be broke by December. Also, this is Lake Waco, and it's actually beautiful here in the summer. Okay, take a look at this, guys. Yes, I do have a big crack on my windshield stick. I got a few alfalfa bales for the clappies. I got this bad boy right Right here. Let me know what you guys think. I'm thinking about putting these logs along here like this. That way they can climb up around the corners. And I have shade cloth for the top coming in the mail today. It's like Chab one of those cat pigeons still hang out retirement homes. No they wait, cat fly around to the um cat hostels. It's like one of those cat hostels. I always wanted to build really up high shelves for no reason for my cats, but my cat is a ground creature. She she likes to she likes to have her feet firmly planted on the ground, unlike most cats. She just, she's a ground creature. He, she, she hates being high up in the air. Surrounding farms and steal their corn. <laughs> but I got this fresh hay bale for the cappy, and there's mushrooms growing on this handle. But I like to throw these little slices around so they can eat. Good morning, Quee. I do love these creatures. They're doing very well too. They love to just sleep under the trampoline per usual. But in the summer, I have to make sure that their water stays full because all these boys drink their water twice as fast. But look how friendly the cappies are now, you guys. Up until we started our coffee <laughs> bar mukbang pui pui channel. Well, these guys never used to be no. this friendly. And now Kumala will just throw his head back and let me kiss him right on his little nose. I want to kiss a cappy on the nose. What a privilege to be able to <laughs> hold this boy's face and kiss him. Stop sniffing my feet, boy. Okay, I'll stop beating the dead <laughs> horse, but if you guys look back to the old videos of even just a month or two ago, these guys have gotten so He's much old friendly. He's all bristled up, that too. That is a friendly oh, cat. Oh, zend out. I kissed zend that out. man until he fell over. Okay, I'm also going to grab a couple slices of this for baby and his wife. Here you go, you two. Please enjoy. They sure do love the alfalfa. Now, alfalfa's really high in protein and other nutrition for these guys, so it's good to give them a little bit of this every now and then. Even though they have all of this grass to graze on back here. Good morning, Remington. I'll also grab a couple slices of this stuff for the goats, too. After I'm done bonding with my son. Man, I just made like five TikToks with Kumala, you guys. But okay, I guess it's time to let them out into the pond. Come on, guys, hurry up. I guess I can just leave this gate open. Good morning, Homelander. <laughs> wow, look at my beautiful baby boy. Guys, I think it's high time He's so we friendly. got this man a little wife. Pretty soon he'll be old enough. I think it's time. Oh, 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 it's time we gave this beautiful little man his first girlfriend. And I'm not sure why the pond water's so foggy, but it probably has to do with all the cichlids I put in here. Now's the time of day when Kevin attacks. The oh, he's in the water. <laughs> Look at that. Just like the old days back in Austin. Only now he's standing in water doing it. Does my heart good to see Kevin being so crazy? He's again. just a and creature. And he's so distracted by attacking the fence that I can just walk right by him. These boys have plenty of food, and I finally found a new home. 
home for this big fat boy. But all right, everybody's fed now. And my favorite son, Kumala, is here. Look at this guy. He wants Kumala more just scratches. Lets me walk right up to him and pet him now. This is my new favorite animal. And he'll let me film whatever I want with. I can even get down and bite his ears, you guys. Look at this. Ow. He just doesn't even care. <laughs> Now that Kumala is, is the most that is our idea of just like what happies are, just zend out. <gasps> Sip. The Atheist Paladin, welcome back to the cage. Thank you for the Prime subscription and 14 months. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. But all right, everybody, that's it for now back here. I'll let these guys hang out by the pool for today. And I'll come out later to clean up. Oh my god, food. that hammock. Wait, what, what's... Is that a cup holder? This is the most, like, American sleeping setup I've ever seen. You know what, guys? We're actually going to let Gustavo try his very first Grimace shake as well. I got a little Grimace shake here for Gustavo. Here you go, bud. Happy birthday, Grimace. I'm actually going to Happy birthday, Grimace. Happy smaller. birthday. Oh, here you go, Gustavo. Try this fresh Grimace shake. No, no, that's not it. That's not it. all spilled out, little dingus. So, no, it spilled out, <laughs> Gustavo. Oh, he got He something. hates the go. cup. That's a nice little bite for him. Because Gustavo is my son, and I love him, I like to cut his little Grimace shake up into small pieces <laughs> just oh, grab God. some <laughs> guys look how big my precious baby boy is getting it's amazing how this little fella went from being destroy a tiny, cup destroy microplastics beautiful baby i'm gonna turn these macroplastics into microplastics yeah, look how precious he is i'll bring him into the sunlight for you guys the fact that this precious little boy is okay with me holding him while he eats is also a huge testament to the amount of work we've been doing with him he's a much he friendlier for freedom. boy now and unlike where he used to live he gets all the food he wants here. What do you think of that grimace shake, Gustavo? Patrick Bateman, quit chewing on those cords. Quit chewing on those chains, Patrick. Okay, I still need to grab that cup, but let's check the temperature in here real quick. Chat, are we still alive? Get a little bit bigger every. My thing just refreshed. Just uh, reconnected. Did anyone else get that? Still good. Okay, probably. Probably just a funny little quirk of Twitch. We're still alive. Okay, good, 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 good. Day. Okay, Gustavo, I need to get that cup. Come over here, buddy. Now the temperatures are back up to 103 Still degrees. Breathing. It's a perfect day to let these Still little fellas get back to swim. And they also okay, do a good. great job of trimming the yard. That's it for now, though, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching this video. Court loves you and appreciates you. <laughs> Big Ounce loves Does you he? and appreciates you. Woohoo! Oh, we did that in unison. That's how you know we've been spending so much more time together. That moment when you Yahoo in unison with your son. All right, guys, Yahoo, love Yahoo, you. Yahoo. you again. We'll have some big updates for the Fox Enclosure in the next video. Don't forget to give Big Ounce a like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys My man is send out oh, again. I forgot to tell you. Here's a quick channel announcement. <laughs> uh, sorry for the late video, you guys. I was busy taking care of the animals, building all these things. Uh, and then also I uh, helped Tank move into his new place. So go check out Tank, the Texas Tank YouTube channel. So feel free to check out the Urban Rescue Ranch Instagram page. I post all kinds of fun little well, videos. Well, you are pretty for quirky. You guys and like chat. Love you. Mm, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of quirky.